tell you guys, everywhere it does a heat up like tomorrow or day. <laughs> you will be sure to hear what Peter B has told uh, Nance Nuhu Ribado over reports on empty treasure Tinubu government inherited from Buhari. Not be small blast. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to like. Thank you for not stopping by. Peter OB has reacted to the National Security Advisor's report that President Tinubu inherited bankrupt country empty treasure from last administration. He made this known in a recent tweet via his official Twitter page. Recall, Ribadu disclosed that the financial distress currently plunging the country in a direct result of President Bola Tinubu's administration heriting an empty treasure upon assuming power a few months ago. While speaking at the Chief of Defense Intelligence Annual Conference 2023 in Abuja on Monday, Ribado acknowledged the several financial constraints affecting budgetary allocations, but assured the nation that the federal government is committed to maintaining a robust and viable defense management and mechanism. I assured you that the federal government will not rest on its oaths in ensuring a robust and viable defense management and security apparatus to address contemporary challenges, even in the face of a numerous budgetary constraints. Yes, we are facing budgetary constraints. It is okay for me to tell you, fine. It is important you to know it is important for you to know that we have inherited a very difficult situation literally a bankrupt country no money to a point where we can say that all the money we are getting now we are paying back what was taken it is serious but this administration is doing its best to meet our requirements particularly the armed forces and I believe that you leaders will be able to testify to that, Ribado said. Reacting to Nas' report, Obi believes it is expected for the federal government to disclose what they inherited, which had qualified us for bankruptcy status, public to know where we are and where we are headed. He wrote, I just read yesterday a widely publicized story from the present APC led federal government saying that they inherited a bankrupt nation from their presidential APC administration. But the story failed to disclose what they inherited, which had qualified us to bankruptcy status. One major characteristic of responsible governance is transparency and strict accountability. This demands that the government disclose exactly the degree of deficits they inherited. What is inherited should be disclosed to enable the public to know where we are and where we are headed. Record that the previous APC government made a similar claim in 2015 against the PDP administration that headed over to them, handed over to them without telling the nation what it actually inherited. Rather, they took our debt profile from 12.6 trillion in 2015 to 85 trillion in 2023. When they left office without improving on any indices, of development, education, health, poverty, eradication, and security. He stated the condition of the nation on every development index got worse, leading to the present sad state. Nigerians know things are bad, 
and they experience it daily. What they now want to hear regular and measurable and verifiable step to improve the situation. Also, the alarm raised by the government about the bad state of our finances raises questions about the erosional behind some expenditure items in the supplementary budget recently signed into law. The present revelation also goes to buttress the, the argument that I have made since electronic season that the cost of governance is too high and must be drastically reduced. A bankrupt country should channel every available resources into founding critical development sector like security, health sector, education, and eradication of poverty by addressing youth unemployment, not spending in non-essential areas. So, what we expect are measurable and verifiable steps to improve the situation. To be said, hmm. this is how to articulate ideas and help a bankrupt APC government be open, be transparent. When did they start and where are we headed to? So, Nigerians can make meaningful contributions. This country belongs to all of us, not just APC. Well, Nigerians. Like I always say, <laughs> there is fire on the mountain. They keep on telling us we are broke, we are broke. And they are spending much money on, on unnecessary things that doesn't matter. This is really very serious. Guys, let's hear from you. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.